My people, my people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We don't come again or we talk bang get information we be say and if you hear them you go like her. And now victory hot and they bring them come to you. I beg you go help us to share, help us to like and help us to subscribe, I beg. I just stormed to this um and I say let me share. Because people must share their opinion after listening to me. He said, the article says, Simon Abbas journey from track athlete to Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile. Somebody wrote this. I know it's not Abbas that wrote this. So let's read. He said, service to one's country knows no bounds. And anyone willing to serve their people is welcome. This is the journey of Simon Abbas, a former athlete and political activist who is now leading a movement to have his people exercise their human right to self-determination. Born on March 21, 1985, Simon Eba Njoko hails from Onhauku, Airborne State, Nigeria. He is from Igbo people who reside mostly in southern and south southeastern nigeria this region is part of what was formerly the republic of uh, biafra a state that was briefly independent and partially recognized from 1967 to 1970 a period known as nigerian civil war this conflict resulted in the death of millions of Biafrans who are due to famine caused by a military blockade of the region. Nigeria is an amalgamation of British colonial territories in West Africa which became independent in 1960. It is a collection of vastly different cultures with northern regions being mostly Muslim while the southern region being a mix of uh, Christians and adherents of traditional religions. As with many other instances in Africa, the former colonial powers looming of different people and cultures under arbitrary country borders has resulted in long-running ethnic, religious, and cultural conflict, which has been erupted, erupted into violence. Since the end of civil war, the Biafran people have been working to regain their independence, which is enshrined in the United Nations principles, under the right to self-determination. A large number of Biafran people reside overseas, fleeing violence and lack of economic opportunities plaguing the region since the end of the war. In his youth, Simon Epa was an outstanding athlete, gaining recognition in his community for, for his athletic, athletic prowess, especially a Discipline of uh, sprinting, long jump, and triple jump. His performance caught the eyes of sports authorities, and he was called on, on to represent Nigeria internationally, I mean, multiple times. In the 2003 uh, Junior African Junior Athletes Championship, Held in Cameroon, Simon Eba won the silver media medal in the triple jump. Everything seemed to be going well, but Simon suffered a major knee injury, sidelining him from competition. According to Simon, many Nigerian athletes are left to their own device when injured which is why many athletes change nationalities. As for himself, he moved to Finland in 2007 to seek treatment and surgery for his knee. There Simon found a new life 
and career, entering the law profession and starting his own family. Settling down in the city of Lati, Simon learned the Finnish language, gained Finnish citizenship, and completed his military service duties. He studied law at Abre Stewart University before joining the National Coalition Party of Finland and running for office in 2022, Finnish uh, county election. He is currently a member and committee chairman of the Transportation Board on Laden, Laden in Lati. Simon has also served as the chairman of the Playground Board in the city Lati, a position he held between 2017 to 2021. Overall, he has been active in Finnish politics since 2012. Simon is also the founder and CEO of Eba and Co, a law firm specializing in immigration law. Despite moving to a new country, Simon never forgot about the land he came from and the struggles of his people. He remained active in Biafran cycles both in Finland and elsewhere, and continues supporting the independent movement. In 2021, Simon began rising in prominence, becoming a major figure in the independence movement. In April 2023, Simon was eventually elected Prime Minister of Biafra Republic government in exile, Brig. The brig has more than 200 cabinet ministers located across the world and licensed offices in countries across multiple continents. The brig is also in contact with the de facto self-governing territories in Biafra and is working to ensure the safety of Biafran people and protect them from violence. As Prime Minister, Simon Eba is at the forefront of the movement, addressing the United Nations and other world leaders, building relationships and opening diplomatic channels to secure independence for his people. My people have been experiencing a lot of hardship, First, under the colonial government and now under a government we did not consent to, Simon says. Our struggles has been ongoing for many decades. And I'm honored with the trust and huge responsibility placed on me by the Biafran people to serve them and give them a voice in the international community. Starting in 2021, the Biafran people are engaged in civil disobedience activities, large-scale sittings, which remain ongoing. A self-referendum addressing the question of Biafra independence from Nigeria was also started on February 1st, 2024 and seek to gain the consent of the people to move the process forward. All right, that's all about uh, Simon Eba that is written here. Do you really have a contrary view concerning this? Or is this all about him? Or is this not about him? Is there truth in this? Or are there lies in this? I want you to, after listening, please help me to drop your comments because your comments will go a long way to helping us to know what is actually going on. For me, this is truth and nothing but the truth. So, but you may have contrary opinion. Please drop it. Thank you and God bless.